When I see my brother here, he's the curator of the place and uh, he knows everything about this place. So I'll hand it over to him as usual for him to take us through uh, this place and tell us what he has here. So, ready. Beautiful ladies and gentlemen here. <laughs> Very nice team and uh, we are in your hands now, sir. Okay, so we normally say. Aquaba. 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 Yeah. 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 So for me, <laughs> meeting Africa for the Africans has always been a delight because I've met a lot of groups thanks to the money and other people. So he mentioned my English name as Edward, but I prefer to be called Kofi. 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 Yes, because I was born on a Friday. Yeah. Today is my day as a male, so that's why I'm called Kofi. In Ghana, especially in the South, the day of the week on which you are born is like your spiritual name. Mm. So we have a both, I think like yes, Tuesday, yes. Yes. Okay. both for both male and female, we have our own names. So this is a memorial for the first president of Ghana. He was called Kwame in Chroma, Kwame in Chroma. And Kwame, because he was born on Saturday as a male. Also. My son is named Kwame because he was born on Saturday. That's good. <laughs> well, so the reason why we have the monument on this particular grounds is that during our colonial era, this was where the British chose to play polo sports. So this was called the Old Polo Grounds and meant for only British. Natives or locals were not allowed to come here. So eventually, Kwame Nkrumah chose the same grounds symbolically to make his independent speech in a way to actually spite the British. Good move. So that's the importance <laughs> of this monument to the history of Ghana. And as part of our tour, we'll visit the museum where we have his pictures and some of his personal items. We also visit the mausoleum where he's been laid to rest finally and pay our respects to him. And then we have his statue and other ones on that side. So we'll start a tour around his statue and end up in the museum. Please, in the course of the tour, we are allowed to ask all our questions. And we are also allowed to take photographs except in the museum but anywhere else we are free to take our shots so once again Aquaba is going to take us about 45 minutes in the whole tour so let's enjoy the experience okay let's go this way I've been here 17 times. I think it's the second time I've seen the water flow like oh. this. <laughs> 